Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris and her Republican rival Donald Trump both look to be intensifying their outreach to undecided voters on Monday with packed schedules in battleground states. Vice President Harris on Monday held events in three of the seven states expected to decide the winner of the November 5th election. At an event in Malvern, Pennsylvania, Harris sought to define herself apart from the Biden administration. And needless to say, mine will not be a continuation of the Biden administration. I bring to it my own ideas, my own experiences. But it is also about moving past what, frankly, I think has been the last decade of um, of the American discourse being influenced by Donald Trump. Harris was there with Republican lawmaker Liz Cheney, the daughter of the former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney. She and her father are two of the most prominent Republicans to have endorsed Harris, while also being staunch conservatives. On the campaign trail, Cheney has told undecided Republicans it's okay to support the Democrat without fear of backlash. On Monday, she portrayed Donald Trump as a threat to the U.S. Constitution. I know that the most conservative of all conservative principles is being faithful to the Constitution. And you have to choose in this race between someone who has been faithful to the Constitution, who will be faithful, and Donald Trump, who it's not just us predicting how he will act. We watched what he did after the last election. We watched what he did on January 6th. Many Democrats still criticize the elder Cheney for strongly supporting the U.S. invasion of Iraq. In a post on his Truth Social platform on Monday, Trump called Liz Cheney dumb as a rock and a war hawk. He accused her of wanting to go to war with, quote, every Muslim country known to mankind, just like her father. Besides posting on social media, Trump on Monday worked to gin up support in the ultra-competitive state of North Carolina. At one stop in the state's hurricane-battered mountains, he urged supporters to go to the polls despite the hardships they were facing. Then, after a rally in Greenville, Trump ended his day at a Christian event in the city of Concord alongside Franklin Graham, son of the famed evangelist Billy Graham. In remarks there, Trump steered clear of some of the off-color rhetoric he has been using in recent speeches and took a more reflective tone. As I look back at my life's journey and events, I now recognize that it's been the hand of God leading me to where I am today. Opinion polls show that this year's race is a close one. The candidates' frenzied campaign schedules in the final weeks show the importance of small pockets of voters that could put either candidate over the top.